But you better understand that with that five-fold rim, it comes to a certain level of muscle that you gotta be equipped to handle. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. You ain't ready for this walk. If you ain't ready for some nights, you gonna cry sometimes.
my God. So, so, God's been telling me, he said, I want you to tell the people of God to prepare their bodies physically uh -huh. with fasting. That's right. I said, God, you know, some people are diabetic, some people are this. He said, listen, listen, listen. He said, when you really want something, this is a supernatural you. come on here, you're going to sacrifice to get what you, you get want. get it, amen. And so we have people that make up excuses and they'll say, well, I'm sick of this, I'm sick of that. But watch this, when you go to God and you say, God, I need, you don't want God giving you no excuses. So why do you just have excuses when he's all he's asking is, present your body as a living sacrifice. We, we tell the people, we say, we say, resist the devil, I'm here, flee. They ain't we got the nothing. First part of the text. We forget it. Yes, we do. The first part of the text says, you got to submit first. You got to submit first. The devil ain't going nowhere, and you ain't submitting. ain't going nowhere. That's why The Bible says, Genesis 3, Jesus. Oh God, and verse 8, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and I'm reading from the New King James Version, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. All right. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said, Where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. That's what it's saying. And he said, Who told you? You were naked. Have you eaten of the tree whereof I commanded you that you should not eat? And the man said, The woman you gave. Watch this. Blame game. To be with me. She's the one that gave me of the tree. And I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, Why is this that you have done? And the woman said, Watch this, blame game. The serpent beguiled me. And then I did eat. And the Lord God said to the serpent, Here we go. Now you ain't got nobody else to blame it on. He said, Because you have done this, you are cursed above the cattle, above every beast of the field, upon your belly shall you go, and the dust That's shall what you the word eat say. all the days of your life. Watch this, and I will put enmity between you and this and the woman, and between your seed and her seed, and it shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman, I will greatly multiply your sorrow, My. your conception, and in sorrow, shall you bring forth children and your desire watch this we were equal into this your desire shall be to your husband uh, and he shall have rule over you oh, and to adam because you have hearkened unto the voice of your wife because you couldn't stand up and be a man oh, amen and have eaten of the tree which i commanded you saying you shall not for your sake, in sorrow shall you eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you, and you shall eat the herb of the field. And in the sweat of your face shall you eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it were you taken, and for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Watch this, watch what it did. And then Adam calls his wife's name Eve. Because she, she was, was the mother, mother of all living. Of all living. And to Adam and his wife, the Lord God made coats of skins and clothed them. May God add a blessing to the readers, the hearers, the doers of this word. Father, we thank you. We praise you. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify you. We magnify you. We worship you. When you're we worship you, today. Jesus. Yes. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. If we've done or said anything by thought, our words, or our deeds, we ask, Lord God, that you will search us and research us. And then, God, turn around and search us again. Yes. Refine us and purify us, Lord God. Lord. God, if there is anything that will prevent your word from coming forth in this vessel, Father, I ask that you would uproot it now. I ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you would begin, Lord God, to move long out of the way. And, Father God, I ask that you would place your spirit, your presence, your 
anointing Thank and you. your power Thank in you, this Jesus. vessel. Yes. Father, I yield it unto you. I submit to your authority. Submit. It's submit. not my will, but thy will be done. Thank Father, you, now I ask that thus thy people, I ask that you would bless every seed that has been sown in this place on today. I ask that you would multiply. I ask multiply. that you would to increase, Father God. Increase. That as they have given, Lord God, you're going to allow it to be given unto them in good measure. Press down, shaken together, and running over men shall give unto their bosom. Thank I you, thank Jesus. you, Father, for supplying you, every need according to your riches and glory. I thank you for supplying the needs of this house. I thank you for putting a hedge of protection around the leadership of this house. Father, I cover every leader in this place on today, Father. I pray, Lord God, that you will release angels of protection. I pray that you will release ministering angels unto them on today, Father God. I pray for every child, God. We cover them under the blood on today, Father God. We cover their schools. We cover their schoolhouses. We cover their playgrounds on today, God. We, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, put a command in the atmosphere, Father God. We pray for the drug addict. We pray for the prostitute. We pray for the homosexual. We pray for the drug addict. Father, we thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We decree and we declare it. We decree and because declare. God, you said that we can decree a thing and that it shall yes, be established. That's what he said. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, you said that after your spirit come that we would glory, have power. Glory, power, glory, power glory. to subdue and power to overcome. Yes, power yes, to tread yes. Power serpents and scorpions. And God, we're not afraid on today because we know that nothing shall by any means harm us. And because we are submitted to you, Father, thank you, we Jesus. resist the enemy thank you, Jesus. that he may flee, Lord God. He Hallelujah. may come in one direction, but he got the flee in seven according to your word and God anything that the thief has hey, stolen it go. must be restored in the name of Jesus according to your word and we say thank you that it is so in Jesus name we Jesus pray. name amen. 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 amen 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 we bless God for the reading the hearers the doers knowers all that old stuff of his word amen amen I want to talk to you on today. Amen. Who told you you were naked? Ah, well, please go God. Who told you yes. you were naked? Uh-huh. Now, some of y'all looking at me funny, but let me ask you, let me tell you why I asked that question is because we have been told that in order to be in the pulpit, woman of God, that we gotta dress a certain way and we gotta we gotta look a certain way and we gotta we gotta talk a certain way and we gotta we gotta walk a certain way. We gotta have a number of different theological degrees and somebody gotta lay their hands on us and, and tell us that we got it before we can actually move into what God has called us into. And so we, we got all this jacked up uh, ideal ideologies in the body of Christ, but nobody has really told us that it takes the anointing to break and destroy yokes. I don't care how many Theological degrees you have. I don't care how good your intellect is. Come on here. I don't care how good you can dissect this word, except God has put His hand upon you and has anointed you. Do it. The Bible said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me. I didn't do it myself. My mama couldn't do Nobody it. Nobody else can give it, can give it to you. It. The preacher couldn't do it. Come on here. My mama, yeah. the bishop could not do it. It had to be the hand of God to. Amen. So, 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 Bishop, can I be fair to say that what we've done in the body of Christ is raised a bunch of counterfeits? Oh. And so what we did is what we got a bunch of people where as long as they're gifted and talented, woman of God, then we tell them that it's all right. But let's go back to creation. Let's go back to the word. Jesus. So, who told you? You were naked. Oh, who, who told you that going before God and acknowledging your transgressions and your sins and, and all of your issues and your uh -huh. effects and, and your residual effects was not okay? Who told you that? Who told you you had to mask yourself? Because, because watch this, watch this. If you look over in Genesis 2 and 25, uh -huh. the Bible says in 2 and 25, and they were both naked. 
the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. Wow. Which means that they uh -huh. were able, woman of God, to go into the presence of God, no matter what their issues was, no matter what their problems was, they were able to allow themselves to be opened up that God can really see who they are. Yeah. My God. But what uh -huh. we do in the church now is we mask it, and we don't want nobody to really see that we all checked out. Come on here. We don't want nobody to really see that God's still working on us. Come on here. We don't want nobody to really see uh -huh. that we still uh -huh. got some hidden Uh -huh. And say, God, listen, I know I'm a wretch or none. Uh -huh. I, I, I know I might be wretched at times, but God, if you'll just work on me. See, one thing about me, I'm kind of like David. I go before God and I say, God, created me a clean heart. A clean heart. A clean heart. not be clean every day. Of the Lord 
walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Now, we know that this is Family and Friends Day, so we got to ask ourselves, what is family according to the world? So according to the dictionary, uh -huh. it's a group of people Born consisting of parents and, and that's right. the children living together in a household, but uh, it, it, yeah. in the day and time that we're living in, uh, they, they the, the Garden of Eden family that we know uh -huh. has been altered. And yes, so it has. Now yes, it's it no has. longer consisting of a man, a woman, and maybe some children. Now we My have God. two women and two men and, and all of this stuff, and they got reconstructed it to what we wanted to do. And watch this, they even got it in the church now. And you got two male pastors and two female pastors. Y'all ain't gonna lock me today. Uh -huh. Jesus. My God. Amen. Why Amen. are you talking about this prophet? This has nothing to do with it, but I'm going to Yes, it do. Now. Yes, it do. Because watch this. Yes, it How do. How you know when you are out of position? When you go into a place and the atmosphere has not been shifted as a condition for you to be there. When you get there and there is no provision there, God has not sent you there. My God. My God. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, he took him from where he created him. That's right. The place where he was created is not the same place where God placed him. Amen. Come on, teach. So the problem is, is some of us still stuck in the same place uh, where we were created. Come on. When God is saying, I got a different place for your provision. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. And that's why you still stuck at step one. Because provision is not in the same place where he created you to be. Now let's go there in the spirit. And some of y'all think I'm talking about your birthplace. Let's talk about your spiritual place. Uh -huh. It's not all the time where God may create you for your calling and your walking. Come on here. That does not mean that that's necessary for you to stay there until you're 40 or 50 or 60 yes. years old. Yes. Amen. If you're still a baby 
in Christ and you've been saved 40 years, you ain't experienced no growth. You're a retarded baby. That's right. A retarded baby. Amen. Uh huh. They have classes for ESC children. Amen. And listen, I'm not by any means picking on those that are disabled because I have two disabled children. Amen. So, but what I'm showing you is how in the body of Christ we have right. crippled people. Because we want everybody to be dependent upon us. That's I what it is right there. Me. I need to make you a disciple. Because if I put word in you, then you don't put That's word right. in somebody That's else. Right. And if they don't put word in somebody else, That's right. that's kingdom. That's kingdom right there. That's kingdom. That's right. You ain't gonna minister the same way Come on. every time. That's true. That's true. That's true. Jesus. Times where God may allow me to minister like this, and then there's other times He may allow me to just get hood and get on. Come on, now. You better say it. And then it might be other times where I gotta be a little intellectual in my fashion. That's right. He switches it. It all depends on the audience. Come on here. But you better believe whatever the atmosphere is, He's already equipped me to go to the call. Come on here. Breathe into his nostrils, 
Man becomes a living soul. Now God says, it ain't good for Adam to be here by himself. Because if he stay here too long, his mind going to get idle. He going to start tapping into sin and things that he shouldn't tap into. Watch this. He said, it's not good for men to be alone, so I'm going to make for him a helper. Yes. I need somebody that will pray with him. Uh, I need, no, 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 no. Eve, Eve's role was to be able to be able to undergird her husband. Yes. She was there to be like an enemy My God. that when his hands got too heavy, she was supposed to help lift them up. Come on here, y'all ain't talking to me. And so what we've done in the church is uh -huh. we have created a nation of people that as long as we just doing whatever we want to do and however we want to do it and ain't nobody checking us, then we okay. But nobody I ain't talking there was to a it. point in time when the, the people of God held you accountable even outside of the church for your lifestyle. How do you know that long? Because you couldn't even do praise and worship and you just shacking Come up with on. Sister So and, and Sister Judy. Come on here. You, you couldn't even right. get on the instruments. Come they won't let you on. No, baby, you can't play today. That's you right. Doing praise and That's worship. right. The watchman, the watchman. As the priesthood, oh, we ain't a holy nation no more. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're no more. Uh huh. We contaminated that. Yeah. And so we off up that strange fire, and then we start seeing Kabbalah spirits manifesting, and then we wondering why things are going crazy in the church. Come on. And you tell me, yeah, they got it. That's the Holy Ghost. No, that's the common life spirit, baby. That's something. That, that's something strange. That's a strange. That ain't God. That's an unbelievable spirit. I don't know what that is, but that ain't the spirit of God. Come on here. You better learn to have an eye to see and an ear to hear. And the hour that we are in, the Bible says, the hour we, we in, the hour. But to Keep. kill, to kill and destroy. Yes, it will. That's right. And why are we being destroyed? Because of our lack of knowledge. Uh, Jesus. Not our intellect. My God. We're being destroyed That's right. because of our lack of relationship. Because watch this. When you're in relationship with God, you know him. You know his characteristics. That's right. You, you know, know what he'll say. That's right. I heard the woman of God talking about her husband. Watch this. She can see her husband probably a hundred feet away and still identify that that is his husband. Why? Because she know how he walk. He, she know how he talk. Come on here. She know his characteristics. She know everything about him. He can look at his wife and it don't matter how far off they are, he can still identify that's her the... and say, that's my spouse. Why? Because you done been intimate with them and I ain't talking about no sex. Stuff. That's why right. you know what they like. You yeah. know what they dislike. Come on here. You know what makes them feel good. You know how to compliment them to get what you want out of them. Never gonna talk to you. And that's how we ought to be with God. But we don't want to spend no intimate time with Him. That's right, my God. Woman of God. Holy Ghost. Yes. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I know each one of my sons. That's right. I can identify each one of their cries. Because I have an intimate relationship with them as a mother. Yes. That I can tell you which one of them is wretched. I can tell you which one of them trifling. I can tell you which one of them is saved. Come on here. I can tell you when somebody that said my child has done something, I can tell you if that is in their character. That's right. Or not. That's right. I raised them. I was home with them. All of their childhood. So I know what they like. I know what they don't like. I know what would cause their stomach to be irritated. Come on here. I know what makes them sick to their stomach. Come on here. I know what foods to give them, what food not to give them. And so the, the, even though I was home with my children, I was home spending time and being intimate with God so that I'll know what God does not like. And, and what he do like. I That's know what right. God does like. Come on here. I know how to get into his presence. Here. I know when I need a breakthrough how to go before him. Come on here. If I really need God, I know how to cry and get something out of him. Come on here. I know how to make my worship so the speaker that he's like, wait a minute, that's long calling me. I got a nine month love for her. I need to go see about her now. 
That's right. You know his voice. Knowing it's him. I'm, Jesus. I hear women saying this. I don't need no husband. God, my husband. You a lie from the pits of hell. And tell him I'm saying so. Because you can have an intimate relationship with God, but it's not that type of intimacy. It's a difference. Yeah, God will fulfill that void of loneliness. But he ain't going to take the place of a man. The devil is a liar. Y'all ain't going to okay, y'all deep in here. That's the word, devil. So, 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 y'all too deep. And so, y'all, that, that's why y'all don't stay single. Because y'all don't want to be real with yourself. And because you don't want to be real with yourself, you can't be real with God. But I just told you who God. when you get that power. You have power. That's what it is. Yeah. Jesus. That's so, right. I'm questioning mm. why. Man, God, I can go to some places uh -huh. and woman of God ain't no power there. Mm. Mm. And what I have identified is uh -huh. the uh -huh. reason why there's no power there uh -huh. and the reason why God cannot come up and show up there is because his spirit does not dwell in that vessel. That's and right. Declares he will not dwell in an unclean place. He ain't gonna do it. You, how you talk about God coming in and Say, that's the word. So, so the, the, the question came up, man of God, because for years we have been teaching people it was an apple that messed that's right. up. The that's garden. right. Yeah, I learned that too. Yeah, said it was a fruit. I, I know I'm been, I've been mess up some theologians. So, theologians. So, if it was an apple, the Bible says when God put him in the garden. He tells him, he says, listen, here's a tree for food. You can eat of this tree. Talk. He said, here's a tree for life. This one, I don't, I don't got no specifications because I want you to live. He said, but then this tree Watch out. is the tree of knowledge of good and, and of evil. evil. That's well, what it say. Well. Right? The fruit of good and the fruit of evil. Correct? So, so how we get an apple? Come on. Come or orange? Man. Being taught that. Ah, That's right. Man. Uh huh. But because That's... watch this, Galatians five, come on, twenty two and twenty three, says that the fruit, fruit of, of the, the spirit, spirit of the spirit. That's right. Uh huh. So in essence, would I be fair to say that what God was really saying to Adam and Eve is, I really don't want you to eat off this fruit off of this tree, That's because if you eat off the fruit of this you tree, it has the potential to cause you to sin. Come on here. It has the potential to cause you to lust. Come That's on here. What it, is. it has the potential to cause you to That's end. Right. Come on That's here. Right. It has the potential to cause you to have strength in your life. Talk to me. We, 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 we messing folks up. Teaching got to get back. Teaching. Teach. 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 How we get an apple and an orange and a banana out of that? Not, uh, <laughs> the fruit of the Spirit of God. 
So if there are fruits of the Holy Spirit, then there must be some fruits of an unholy spirit. He said the whole I created the good and the evil. That's what he said. He didn't discriminate. There had to be some balance there. Yes. Yes. There had to be some type of balance there. Why? Because we see in the beginning when he looks, the Bible says that the earth was dark. And now, Lord, that's what it say. When we see dark, we're assuming there was no physical light. Yes, teacher. But can I be fair to say that when he was talking about darkness, yes. all he saw was evil in the land. Oh, yes. And he said, wait a minute, there's some unbalance here. Yes. I need to create some balance here. I, I need the people to, to really have a, a difference and a shift. Come on here. You ever been in a place in your life where your whole life was just dark? Come on here. And you ain't have no light. You weren't walking in light. You weren't talking in light. Okay, maybe it was just me that went saved. It was me. It was me. It was me. And so I ain't been saved all of my life. So I ain't been sitting here not like I've been deep. Amen. Come on here. And, and truth be told, there's been some days in my Christian walk where God still had to work on me. But church folk is a mess. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. There's been some days when I had to do like Jesus and go into the garden of the city and say, God, please work on me. If you could, take this cup. I might not be able to handle this thing. I'm too messed up. Yes. Too messed up. But you know what God has been doing Jesus. with me? Talk. God said, Long, what I'm doing with you now, I have to teach you how to genuinely pray for people mm. and love people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Even when you know they're trying to assassinate you. Jesus! <laughs> he said, Jesus told 12 and one was the devil. That's what he said. He knew Judas was a devil. He knew that. You gotta know too. Show did. Open that in in the midst of walking with him. He received. He saw some. Uh huh. Uh huh. If he saw some sick being healed, come on here. If he saw some eyes being blind, come on here, being open. He was hoping that eventually he'll get his life together. He even let him sit down at the table. Yes, he did. With him, hoping that there was some type of repentance that would take place in his heart. play with serpents uh -huh. and you know it's a serpent because you don't get big my god yes that's what but there are some times in leadership where you have to know that god has the potential to change the heart of a man he can do it amen god did something um i have been praying to get into a program for about 10, 15 years. And I kept saying, man, God, if I don't, and I told the Lord just this year, when I got back from California, I said, God, if I don't get in this time, I'm just gonna take it as a sign. It's just not meant for me. The minute I threw my hands up and I let it go, God That's opened it. up the That's door. It. My God. But when I walked through the door, I walked through with favor. Come on here. Provision. Provision. I was worried after God opened the door how, the, how it was gonna be paid for. <laughs> But then God sent, come on here. Somebody He'll do it. who had more Jesus. Than enough, come on here. Yes, to God. say, listen, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it for you. Uh -huh. And then listen, I ain't have to sleep with nobody. Let me just clear the atmosphere. It wasn't a man. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. But God sent somebody who had the wealth of the wicked. Come on here. The and I was held up for the saint. The wealth of the wicked. My God, God, my God. And, and preaching, mm. traveling the way I travel it. God say, stand still for me. Yeah. Jesus. I say, God, you mean to tell me you don't want me doing no preaching? No. God say, stand still for a minute. He say, when the program begins, anything that you have not committed to, do not. Not for 2018. So people literally, watch this, God will show you people. One of God, people were literally upset with me. I just got back from California. You didn't even want to send for me to come back from California. Well. To come preach for you. But now that I'm back here, you want 
me to come. And God said, I'm trying to show you that I'm setting you up for something greater in the end time. See, end time is more than about church. It's more than about church. That's right. Amen. Now we ready for the end time. We ain't got our own medical facilities. So if the people get sick, who gonna treat them? Come on, right. Work. We ain't got our own banks. So when the money system get hit, y'all better take y'all money out these banks. Because let me tell y'all something. They already tampering with this stuff. If you have not invested in gold and silver and in precious minerals and things like that, you better take your money out these banks. Cryptocurrency, when they hit that, that was just a test run. That's right. Oh, y'all not want to talk to me. I know that's too deep for y'all. No, it ain't. Amen. 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 So, so the Bible says, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. The Bible says, it says, it says, says, who told you you were naked? And God said, Adam, where you at? I, I don't feel you no more. I, I can't connect with you. Uh -huh. I, I, I can't talk to you. Where, where you at? I, it's hard for me to communicate with you. See, the enemy don't want nothing but to disrupt your worship. That's it. When he disrupts your it. worship, he disconnects your relationship with God. And when he disconnects your relationship with God, you notice how when you done sinned in the world and you try to go back to church the next day, it's a little bit harder to get into the presence of God. Yes, it is. It's a little bit harder That's to right. Yes, it is. It's a, you That's can right. all day, but you look it ain't real. It like don't be real. Thing, right? That's okay, right. Maybe I was the only one on the prayer That's team right. and going to the club the night before. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. That's right. Amen. 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 Jesus. That's right. Amen. I, I, I know. I was the only one that was that was going to, to the club that night, that Friday. Probably that Saturday. And then be ready for church on Sunday. But mother, one thing I found out, no matter what I did in the world, I still gave God his. I still paid my tithes. I still paid my offering. Come to church. I came on time to church. You got to still come to church. I didn't come sleepy. I didn't come tired. If I could shut down the club, I could shut down the church. Come on here. If I can go to the club and give them my money, I can come to the church and give God mine. If I can give the world that money for any kind of shows and entertainment, I didn't have no problem giving God mine. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It don't bother me when people say, so this and so that. So this, so that. You know why? That's what keeps me blessed. Wow. That's right. You ain't got to ask me to sow. That's right. I do it because I know that whatever I give, it's going to me. God going to do it. good measure. God. Press down. Press down. Shaking it down. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Give it to my brother. I ain't got to call no hundred dollar line. God will call somebody to put two. God, and they hide. Jesus. 
Y'all know how we used to do when we was in the world. Somebody see us at the liquor store. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And you know the ducking and dodging. You know the ducking and dodging. Y'all ain't gonna be with us. Okay, maybe because some of y'all still ducking and dodging. That's right. That's right. Somebody see you buying your lottery tickets. Don't you? I want pastor to see this. Uh -huh. I want pastor to see me with these scratch offs. But I'm going to show type to God if I win. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, y'all don't do that because y'all do. So, so they hear. And the Bible says that, that God begins to say, Well, Adam, where are you? He said, God, I heard you call me. But I was afraid because I was naked. On, well. I didn't want you to see me like this. I, I didn't want you to see me with my heart undone. You know that's one of the biggest excuses that we have in the body of Christ. People will say, I don't want to go to church like this because I don't want to go until I'm ready to get it right. Well, you ain't going to never go. Listen, you ain't got to come to church. I bring the church to you. I don't mind coming to the corner. I don't mind coming to the club. Come on here. I don't mind coming to the drug addicts and the prostitute. I'm built for that. Amen. Amen.
people so great to come down through her bloodline that this was a working woman. My mama. The PG version. Thank you, Lord. She was a, a businesswoman. Amen. But when God sees the situation in the garden, mm -hmm. who told you? Yes. You were naked. That's wow, right. say that. Adam, how, how did you come to this conclusion? Because yes. the last time I talked to you, you didn't even know you ain't had no clothes on. Wow. Last time I talked to you, you were standing before me, all your product hanging out, everything manufactured the way I left it. You ain't even realized that you were unclothed. So, so who gave you this knowledge? Did you eat of something that I told you not to? Amen. So who told us that we got to do things a certain way in the body of Christ? Because some of this stuff is tradition. Yeah, I done been through hell and back. Yeah, I done been homeless. Come on. 
on here. Yeah, I didn't have to sleep in my car. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. But it was all of the stuff that I've been through. Yeah, I done been in some abusive relationships with some no good chokers who didn't appreciate me. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. But it was all the stuff that I've been through. I done been sick in my body. Yeah, I done had to battle with cancer. Come on here. There been times you not walk and I could not walk. But it was all the stuff that I've been through. It was the furnace of affliction that purified me. That when I see some no good chokers Gotta go through something. In his law, do it by meditate day and night. I was like, Joe, God, what did I do? Uh-huh. I, I give, I do what I, I can. I, Jesus. I, I don't understand. God, God. Says, it's not about you, Lord. Uh -huh. He says it's about what I'm building on the inside of you. Yeah. He said, you got to remember the prayers. He said, you asked me to purify you, that's what I'm doing. He said, you asked me to purge you, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm he doing. said, you wanted to be consecrated, that's what I'm doing. He said, you just didn't know the entails and the details of the process. He said, but if you really wanted it, then you got to go through it in order to get it. He said, yeah, it might not feel good, but it's going to work together for the good. The all things work together. That's right. And we gotta know how much money get into him. That's that. right. God, That's right. That. Because God. watch this. What has happened is Jesus. we've contaminated the priesthood. Jesus, say yes. that. That's a good word, yes. my God. And then we tell people to give, but then we don't teach them how to properly give. Uh, come on. I did a series on come the on. offerings. And how I tell people this, woman of God, don't sow into my ministry if I'm not feeding you. Uh, all right. Because I don't want your money. Uh, That's right. I'm not saying God not going to send people that will bless you. Say it. But I don't want somebody sowing to me on a monthly basis <laughs> and you are just reaping the blessings of being connected to the anointing. Uh, uh, but then you're not reaping the spiritual growth yeah. from the anointing. Uh, That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Jesus. Your money ain't going to do me no good. That's right. And God going to hold me accountable. Yes, he is. He's going to hold him accountable. Yes, he is. So therefore, That's you right. better keep your money. Because if I can't impart something into you that is going to be beneficial to your spiritual growth, your money ain't going to do you no good. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Why would I want a, a drug dealer to sow $10,000 into my ministry say that, say that. if I ain't going to be able to pray for that person? Right. If I'm not going to impart words into them? I got to be able to deposit something, something in you. you. Yeah. That's right. That's, That's, the word. That's the word. Or else you might as well keep that. That's good. I have saved and unsaved folk follow my, my social media. Yeah. That's right. So guess what? When the religious folk think I ought to do something one way, I don't, I'm not all deep all the time. You ain't seeing me posting hallelujah, glory to That's right. Listen, there's some days I might want to clown with my family and I might That's post right. something silly. Yeah, Because I'm still human. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. I ain't going to be deep all the time. And God ain't talking to me 24-7. You better believe him. I may not see everything, but I don't miss nothing. That's right. Amen. I don't miss nothing. Amen. Amen. I may play crazy, but I ain't. Yeah. And sometimes you can't allow everybody to know what God is saying to you. That's right. Because you got spiritual hijackers. Yes, they will. Yes, yes. Yes. You done laid in the presence of God and labored in the presence of God and 
and you got some joker who ain't even yeah. trying to get into the presence of God. Uh-huh. They came and took a prophetic revelation and acting like they're so deep and like God that revealed it to them. Oh my, my, my God. Yeah. Go sit down somewhere. Uh, yes. How the revelation do it? We got to move. I wish I had time. I, I wish I had time. You got time. Really you got time. Teach this thing because it's so much in that that nakedness. Go ahead on and teach it. <laughs> mother said, mother said, go ahead on and teach it. Jesus. Mother don't want it, they don't get it. Jesus. <laughs> mother said, teach it. But we we have to prepare the people of God. Yes. Cause I'm telling you, this stuff that's going on. That's right. It ain't it ain't working for us. Lord yes, Jesus. It ain't good. working for us. That's good. Oh my God. When I got here, God deals with me in weather. When I got to California, it had been a 10 year drought in San Diego. And um I had been there praying and asking God for some signs and Asking God for some things, and one night I was sitting there watching the news, and I was trying to decide if I was going to stay or go. And I went, and I would walk my dog into an open field where we were living. And I said to the Lord, I said, God, if it is your will for me to stay here for a season, because I knew it was only a season. One thing about God, he's never going to put you in a situation and not prepare you for what you're going into. That's right, he won't. That's right. I knew what I was walking in. But I also knew why I was walking in it. I knew my journey. I knew what I had to do. It had nothing to do with me. It was what God was doing on the inside of me and what he was building in my ministry for women who are in ministry, who are going through certain situations. Amen. So I prayed, and that night I said, God, if it is your will for me to stay here for a season, they said it's been a 10-year drought. I said, God... Elijah prayed for the rains and the rains fell. That's right. Yes, he did. My kids will tell you. I came home. I told them. I said, if it don't rain, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Well, that next morning when we got up, there was little speckles of rain on the car. My God. So I knew God was telling me to stay. Jesus. So the next day I wasn't convinced because I really was looking for God to say go home. Yes. Because I knew Amen. Home. Amen. And that's what I really wanted. So I prayed again. I said, God, but this time let me see the rain. Because yeah. I didn't see it the first time. So I wanted him to make it plain for me. I wanted that fleece to be very, very plain. So the next day, it started raining again. Well, it kept raining. It kept raining until the drought was over. I guess God said, no, you're going to get this. I need you to get this next. <laughs> and I said that to say that when I got here, when you saw me sitting there, I was praying because I was asking God to hold back the reins. Because sometimes what happens is people find an excuse as to why they yes. can't come to worship. Yes. Yes. That's, yes. Right. That's right. That's right. And listen, don't don't y'all think it's just the church folk. The, the preachers do it too. Come on, yes. come on. Amen. I'm, always, I'm usually on time, but I was sitting there. I was like, Well, Lord, I need this rain to slack up. So. <laughs> So, I was like five minutes late, and I hate being late to church. I, I have to be early. It's just yes. it's the OCD in me. I like being early. Wow. But I, I felt bad because I don't like walking into the sanctuary late. Amen. But nevertheless, God allowed me to get here in enough time that once I got in, it started pouring down a little bit harder. So I sat there, and I began to pray and ask God to clear up the rain. And then, then when I looked, I was thinking it was going to stop and then start again. That's why I went and got my umbrella. But it has not started raining again. And so I thank God for just because I asked him to clear it up for a reason. He'll I, do I it for us. And um, I said that to say, we're in an hour where you got to be truly connected to the mind. Yes. Yes. I ain't talking about this faking it. Because see, watch this. I'm not one of them, I'm not one of them prophets where I generalize prophecy. And I come to you and I say, man of God, God gonna bless you. 
God going to give you increase and God going to cause overflow. That's general. That's basic. Anybody can tell you that. Because if I'm willing and obedient, all of that comes with that territory. He's going to expand my body. He's going to enlarge my territory. No, I need somebody who really sees through God's eyes and hears through his ears. So when I release a prophetic word over the people of God, I'm not dealing with your general situation. I'm dealing with some stuff that you might not even be aware of. I'm dealing with some stuff that's going to cause you to go back and think. And a lot of times he may not do it and allow me to individually prophesy, but he'll do it through the word of God. That's a prophetic word. That's the prophetic word. That's the word right there. And begin to prophesy your situation. Because watch this. I ain't got to lay hands on nobody. But if you are in the atmosphere, then what God is getting ready to do and shift your life so that you can go back to your original place of dominion and understand that nobody ain't got to lay hands on you but that you walk in enough divine authority that you can decree and declare a thing and that it shall be established. Why? Because I was in an atmosphere where the portals have to be opened up for the prophetic will and God begin to release healing. God begin to release miracles. God begin to release substance. Why? So y'all missed that right there. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all missed that right there. That was the shift right there. That Thank was you, where Jesus. God was transitioning right there. Uh -huh. God was shifting the atmosphere. That's how you were supposed to come in. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's right, my God. That's suicidal. I want right. to make sure I don't miss God. I want to make sure that you don't walk out of here and the devil gets the victory out of your life. I got to make sure I hear God. That's right. It's him that do the work. Who told you? You was naked. You were naked. Then mm. get to get to what I wanted to. But y'all get the message. Who told you? Yes. You were naked. Because so many times in our nakedness, we become ashamed. Because we don't want people to see us. So we mask it, woman of God. And we hide it. And God said, I just want you to take the mask off. Take the mask off. Amen. Take off all that hidden stuff. Yes. All them hidden clothes you got. You got on too much clothes. Take that stuff off. Take them gray clothes off. Who told you? You were naked. 
And why does it bother you so to be naked in the presence of God? Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We magnify you and worship you, God. Mm. We adore you. We edify you. We bless your name, God. We tell you thank you, Father, that you're doing all that you've done. We tell you thank you most of all for your word. Because you sent your word and it healed us. It delivered us from destruction. Now, Father, we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you would cause the seed that was planted from the word of God on today. Thank you, Jesus. Let it begin to resonate in our hearts. Let it begin to grow. We pray for families on today. That you would reconnect the family structure. Not just physically in the outside of the church, but even within the body of Christ. Within as well. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask that you would bring back divine order in our churches, in our households, mm. in our ministries, in our schools, in our government. Father, we ask that you would restructure our government on today. Father, we ask that you would do a spiritual cleaning from the White House to the Poor House. Jesus. Father, we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you will come through and shift and shape our foundation of our political you, system. Bless Jesus. Father, we ask that you will cause a quickening in the spirit, that you will cause the hearts of the people to repent. You will cause the hearts of the people to turn back to you on today. Father, I pray right now, you said if your people which are called by your name would humble themselves and pray. You said if we would turn from our wicked ways, that you would hear from heaven. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for Jerusalem. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for every nation, every country. Father, that they would know you, that they would know your son, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would restructure and transform and renew our minds. Thank you, Jesus. Renew our way of thinking, God. That we don't think the same way. God, allow us to think in the realm of the Spirit. Let us take on the mind of Christ. God, that we may be able to think on things that are pure, that are holy. Yes. Father, we pray even for this church. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray that every soul that has been assigned to this ministry, we call them in now. We call from them the in north, now. from the south, yeah. from the east, from the west. Father, we call them in now. And we position the angels of the Lord to go forth and to grab the vessels that are assigned here to be helpers to this ministry. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would post some angels of protection. We pray right now, Lord God, that you would even cause those that are next door in the clubhouse, Father God. Cause them to hear ye the word of the Lord. Cause yeah. them to submit. Yeah. Cause them to yeah. obey. Jesus, the 